you guys doing? Good morning. You're probably asking yourself what I'm doing. What's this video going to be about? Well, hold on a second. Doing a view for the Yeti Trailhead Camp Chair. So, if you're not into reviews and you're used to my normal channel, don't worry about watching this video, but this video is going to be a review. Secondly, I'm going to get something out of the way real quick. You're probably asking yourself, what the heck's going on? Well, we are in quarantine 2020. I'm sure everyone is watching this video has known about the quarantine of 2020, the pandemic. We're in the middle of it. I binge Tiger King like everybody else, and I'm inspired to grow some handlebars. Lastly, before we get started, you probably know those braces. And a pallet expander, or a pallet spreader. I'm going through some dental work. All my other videos, I have not had braces. Well, I have braces and I have an expander. I'm just doing some dental work. I'm gonna talk a little funny in the future videos. I should have a nice, pretty smile, but right now, this is what you got. So you're dealing with it. All right, so before we get the review started, this review is gonna be based on a couple different categories. Price, comfort for walking, sitting, and carrying. Customization of the chair, is there any customization? Durability, usability, and then lastly, value. So let's get started. I'm going to walk at least a half mile, maybe a whole mile, to let you know what this chair feels like on your back. Because it is pretty heavy for a camp chair. Went a little overboard, a little past a mile, but that is my mile walk with a chair on my back. A little sweaty, if you can't tell. Come on, camera. A little sweaty, if you can't tell. Was it hard? No, it was pretty comfortable. Um, has these little straps here. Nothing special, you can adjust. You can adjust these uh, straps here to be tighter, depending on your size. Sits on your back. You probably saw me walking with it. It's comfortable. Hey, no problems. Kind of makes some noises while you're walking. Some, some creaking noises, naturally, but um, had no problem walking. Back's a little sweaty. It's about 70 degrees here. 72, but I'd say comfort level walking. Um, although it's big, weighs about 20 pounds, 15, 20 pounds. I'd say it's doable. It's um, I, I could walk. I could walk another mile. Um, I guess it depends on you, but I would say it's comfortable. I would say I'd give it a comfort factor on your back of a seven or eight out of ten. It's not it's not a backpack, um, you, but the way it fits in between your shoulder blades when you're walking, I'd say it's comfortable. I'd give it maybe an eight. So number one on the list is price. Let's cut to the chase. It's an expensive chair. Um, you can see here, price, $299. $300 is a lot of money. Um, why did I spend $300 on a chair? Well, let's put it this way. I didn't spend $300 on a chair. So if you have coupons or gift cards or look for certain sites that have deals, for instance, this is how I bought it, and I actually only spent a little over $100 on the chair. REI has a sale once a year or a couple times a year I think I it was like 20 or 25 percent off I used that on one item Yeti is included I also had a dividend payment for what I spent last year they give you sort of like a gift card depending on certain items you spend money on so I had about 30 35 dollars with that so the, the discount from REI the dividend gift card from REI and a couple other gift cards I had brought the price down for me a little over a hundred dollars 100% I would pay all day long $100 for that. Um, depending on the rest of the review, you guys can make your decision if you would pay $300 for the chair, but like I said, you can use discounts. Second category is comfort. How comfortable is the chair? Well, let's just show you. As I just mentioned, I just walked a mile plus with this chair. 
walking with it on your back is comfortable. It is heavy, it's around 15 to 20 pounds, but I would say it's comfortable, comfort factor, as I said before, eight out of 10. All right, so for reference, like I said, I'm 5'10", 175 pounds. I got plenty of extra room. It's comfortable. A couple of things that I did want to say about comfort is it doesn't have any bars that go anywhere in between here not even up here or down here because it all folds together this is sort of a spongy like material i was surprised with that you can tell that so it's kind of like it's way more like like a like a like a like a i don't know a trampoline type feeling so with that being said there's no pressure points Right when you're sitting, so it just conforms to however you're sitting in your back, which makes it very comfortable. So as for comfort in sitting, I'd, I'd give it a 10 out of 10, maybe a, a 9 out of 10. Nothing's perfect, but for comfort, I'd definitely give it, uh, you know, a, a good comfort rating. On to usability, practicality. Let's see how long it takes us to tear it down and put it back up. So as you set it up, as you just saw, I pushed, I just pushed down on both of these sides. Gives you some instructions here on how to do it when it comes. Tells you how to do it. But I just put it down, push both sides. It locks this little pin here, which is the same way that you would, see that? Same way that you would take it out. When you set it up, you just push that back down. And when you take it apart, you pull it back up. That simple. Piece of cake. All right, putting it back in the bag. Let's see how long that takes. As I said, one, two, boom. Bag. One thing I would also like to note about the bag is that it has a little extra room in it. Like, it's not like a completely form-fitting, so it makes it easier to put it in and out of the bag because they give you a little bit of extra room. Kudos to you, Yeti. Which also, which also, with the extra room in there, let's say you had, you know, put some stuff in here. You had, you had some stuff that you wanted to, you wanted to put in there to carry with you to your soccer game or whatever. You could do that. Moving on to durability. Well, like any product built by Yeti, it's a durable product. I do want to mention a few things about the product that I have noticed. You can't see it now, but I had a tiny little snag here. It had a little, like a string. I don't know if you can, how well you can see that. But I had like a little snag there. I don't think it's gonna be a big deal. I, I took scissors to it as opposed to pulling it out. So, the only part that I'm that, that that really worries me doesn't worry me at all. But the only part that I could see being not completely yeti bomb proof would be this material, just because you're sitting in it. But everything else is built like a rock. You can look up the specs. I don't know what this is made out of. Probably aluminum, but it's everything is top notch yeti quality. I'm not gonna go throw it off the back of my truck, uh, which I don't have, but. It's built tough. Even the seam here, what makes this little this little turn, it's kind of reinforced because that's going to be a, like a pinch point, right? It's reinforced with some other material. Um, another cool thing is these these feet are wider. You can see that they're 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 wider than a a, a normal fold up camp chair, so it makes it really sturdy. It's not going to fall over gives you a feeling that you're really nothing's gonna happen while you're sitting in a chair the wind's not gonna blow it over um, uh, this what they call X shape makes it also very sturdy as you can tell it's 
kind of pointing out the back there it does take up a little bit more room while it's opened up as opposed to a normal camp chair but I think the design of the way it's designed is is stellar moving on to customization you're asking yourself what, what would you want to customize well they don't list this on their website I don't think when I was looking for it but I did notice one customization this is where the cup holder is attached right and it does come off but I noticed that there's another one on this side right simple lock-in maybe they'll sell if they don't already an additional cup holder maybe they'll sell a fishing rod holder um, I don't know but let me go ahead and demonstrate how that comes off so this just pulls right off just pulls right off like that right it's made out of really sturdy material bottoms flat but the side is hard and that's how I think helps it stand up this side is hard so you can attach the cup holder on the right hand side which it comes or you can attach it to the left hand side just as easy right just put it right in there it pushes down just like that I was afraid it was going to be it's like you see that see that I'm trying to kind of get it to fall over but it it, it it naturally sits up pretty straight you got a little bit of extra room in there but definitely a beer can would be fitting in there the bigger Yeti cups would fit in there anything you want to put in there really and the way it's designed with this being hard it holds it upright pretty well so if you had the lid off it's not gonna tip over and, and spill out now if you topped your drink off to the very top right without a lid on I mean if you set it in there gently it's it's it sits almost level but if you had just an open cup and you, you topped it off to the top with whatever you, you might get a little you might get a little leakage but just a normal cup normal beer normal soda pop whatever you want to put in there it's a nice cup holder okay so before we get into the final category of value I'll keep that for my conclusion of the video let's have some random thoughts about the chair that I had thought about prior to buying it and also after I bought it okay so the chair was bigger than I thought um, not huge but it was bigger than I thought uh, in terms of height even how it folds up it was just bigger overall bigger than I thought it was going to be uh, as I said before, the material on the chair is softer, way softer than I thought. Kind of hard to describe. It's kind of like a soft trampoline, if, if you would. Um, I like the cup holder. The cup holder is uh, more flimsy than I thought, but when you put your drink in, it holds, it holds solid. Um, it, it, I didn't know what to expect with the cup holder, but the cup holder, as you can see, is, it works just fine. I, I like the cup holder. Uh, setup and, and takedown is very simple, very, very simple. Uh, oh yeah, I wanted to talk about the size comparison to the Hondo. I don't have the other first chair that they made, but I have sat in it in the store in Austin. I would say they're about the same size unfolded. Um, folded up, they're also about the same size. The lawn chair version, the Honda or Hondo, it's easier to fold up because you just fold it. But there's no bag, right? So you have to carry that chair if you're going to go somewhere. You have to literally carry the chair like a foldable picnic chair. Uh, this chair folds up like a bag. It folds up into a bag, and you can wear it over your back like a backpack. But overall, the size, once it's sitting up, is about the same size, I think. How do I plan to use the chair? I plan to use the chair and why I bought the chair, because I do a lot of bank fishing. Um, I plan to use this chair for fishing. I also have the Yeti bucket. Um, when my girlfriend goes with me, she can use the chair and I'll use the bucket to, to sit on. Um, I just plan to use it for miscellaneous things, but mostly fishing. Um, mostly fishing. Final thoughts on this chair. Um, let's talk about value. Is there value in this chair? I think so. I think if you are an outdoorsy person, an adventurous person, someone who's going to spend some time outside, whether that be with your kids at their sporting events, whether that be hunting, fishing, anything that you could, anything that you could benefit from having a chair. If you use a camp chair, you'd benefit from having this chair. It's, it's considerably better than any other chair. Uh, is it worth the 
$300. If you can't spend $300 on this chair full and, and not affect your budget, then you probably shouldn't get the chair. But if you could pair it up with some discounts, as I mentioned earlier, I think it's totally worth it. Um, I don't know what I would pay. I'd probably pay $200, $150 bucks for it um, without a discount. But I don't know. What would you guys pay after this review? What, what would you be willing to shell out for this chair or any camp chair? Let me know in the comments below. Who else could this chair be for? As I said, people that are adventurous, people that uh, – parents that go to sporting events, soccer events where you're sitting outside. Uh, other, uh, other things uh, could be um, – the everyday dad, the everyday dad who spends a lot of time in a garage, who cooks in the backyard, who, you know, is tinkering around in the garage, on, on the grill, um, campers, people that overland, people that do a lot of RV camping or camping in general. So really anybody, uh, but more so people that are outdoors. So I'm going to leave you with that. That's that. That's that. That's the review. Uh, I don't do many reviews, so sorry if you're not interested in reviews. This is not a review channel, but it's kind of an outdoor cha travel channel. So let me know in the comments below what you think about this video, about the Yeti chair. If you want more of these videos or if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up um, and share this with your friends. This is the first video review of the chair that I know of. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next review.